and the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee investigating ministries, departments and agencies, parastatals and tertiary institutions on management of personal recruitment, employment, racketeering and gross mismanagement of integrated payroll and personal information system has summoned the chairman of the Federal Character Commission, Muhiba Dankaka, and 36 commissioners of state to appear before it. Also summoned by the Ad Hoc Committee is the Auditor General of the Federation. The directive followed a, me a mild drama at the technical session of the first sitting of the House Ad Hoc Committee after it had finally initi initially received the representative of the chairperson of the Federal Character Commission, Armaral Abubakar, who claimed that their boss was unavoidably absent as she was sick. But the committee was shocked by an alarm by the commissioner representing Delta State in the commission, Moses Anwahe, who said the FCC boss was pretending to be sick to avoid the panel. So that the chairman of the committee of, of the commission, Dr. Mrs. Muhiba Dakaka, will appear in person with all the 36 commissioners or 37 commissioners. For, for for 37. What? Okay, oh, okay. 37, 36 commissioners because one of the commissioners is already a member of the House of Representatives, and uh, when he is also on medical leave. So we are we and there are some commissioners also that that have already gone for assignment uh, in other states of the of the, of the federation. So that is why we are reminding for uh, up to next week so that we'll be able to call all of them to be here in person. Federal Character Commission, Dan Kaka, as I speak then, she was in the office and she's very okay and this letter, she cl uh, the claim they gave to them, were given to them, all of them were in our office this morning before they all came here. And, and I want to stress that Dan Kaka, the chairman of Federal Character Commission, yeah. eh? She's, these are her usual excuse for various committees that have invited her. That should be on record. Going by this development, a motion that a Gadi led panel rescinds its earlier resolution was adopted while all FCC commissioners present were placed under an oath in continuation of the probe, the ad hoc committee insisted that the doctor report on the FCC boss be presented before it as a proof that was not presented. As a proof, but that was not presented by the commissioners who represented her. Representing the Federal Character Commission boss, Armao Abubakar pleaded that the commission be given next week Monday to appear with a chair lady and all relevant documents. Come tomorrow by 11. But if you want us to exaggerate the issues, to escalate it, to explain it, to allow Nigerian listen, to put it in two perspective, for the world to know you are a liar, we can do that. We can do that. Your colleagues are saying 12 o'clock, so she has the right to go and see her doctor, come back to the office and continue working, but she doesn't have the energy to appear before this committee and make representation. Why did, he, she, did she take on an appointment? So two things, she will come here or she compromise the office. We need her and the commissioners tomorrow by 11 o'clock, please. Meanwhile, most chief executives invited by the panel refused to appear in person as a sent in their subordinate to represent them. This the panel frowned at and summoned all to appear with the relevant documents needed by it.